So, I want to put myself in a Mario Kart. But I don't know how to do that. But there is one way to do it using Doom. Sort of. Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart is a long and complicated title for a game, but it's also a source code modification of version 2.1, which is an older patch of Sonic Robo Blast 2, which is a Sonic fan game that was made by modding Doom Legacy. Uh, in other words, it's a mod of a mod. SRB2 was developed by Sonic Team Jr., which Chaos064 and some other people modded to make SRB2 Riders, which had a Mario Kart gameplay mode, which Kart Crew based SRB2 Kart on. Holy lord is that a mouthful. SRB2 Kart plays a lot like Mario Kart, with drifting items, bananas, all that good stuff, but it's focused more on momentum in terms of physics. It also has two different game modes, time attack and multiplayer, and within multiplayer, there's racing and a battle mode. And on top of that, you can do multiplayer with people online. And that's nice and all, but I, I don't really give a shit about any of that. I have Mario Kart, I don't care if it has Sonic in it now. Here's the thing, because it's based on a source code mod of Doom Legacy, it's really easy to add mods into. Basically, you can mod a mod of a mod. Now, I ain't too smart of a guy, but I've worked in marketing and sales for years, so I know how to sweet talk a fella or two. You know? Meet Stagger Knight, an animator on Newgrounds and YouTube, also a friend of mine. Stagger Knight ain't too smart either, and I know that is a fact. But Stag has played a little more SRB2 card than me, so I'm gonna have Stag show you how to put your own character into the game. Sage, you just wanna show him how to do it? Yeah, I have it! You see, you could just download SRB2K and play as Sonic and Friends, but in my expert opinion, they scare me and I don't like them. So we are gonna fix that! by adding custom characters. There are several ways to do this, but today's explanation, we will be using a method by Fickleheart on the SRB2 forums. To start, first get Cartmaker zip file from their forum posts, which better be linked below, Chris. Now in this zip, there'll be several files. In here, there'll be two templates. The only difference between the two of them is one has a transparent layer and the other does not. First, make a copy of one of these folders and rename it to the character's name. In this folder, we want to open the sprite's PNG in your preferred drawing program. I'm using Paint Tool Site too, but anything will work. Starting from the top row, the first five sprites are the cart from all directions, and the sixth sprite is when you begin to turn. If you're wondering why there's no sprites facing right, it's due to the fact that the game will just horizontally flip the sprites when necessary. The seventh sprite is the billboard sprite, which only appears when the character wins the race. The second row is entirely just the drifting sprites. These can be a tad confusing, but the best rule of thumb is to just mimic the direction that the cart is facing. The third row are wipeout sprites, like falling off the stage or taking damage. Pretty self-explanatory. And finally, there's these three tiny sprites to fill. The first picture is the character's select icon, the second one is the one you'll be seeing on lobbies and scoreboards, and the third one is what you'll see on the minimap. The bottom two rows down here are just for reference and can be ignored entirely. For today's example, I'm going to turn this rat named Thoratic into a vehicle. As you can see, I am going hard. Okay, I'm done, but one last thing. You may notice that the rat is green when they're not normally green. I could have just gone with magenta and black and it would have looked like that in the game. But this game has palettes. This is optional, but if you use greens, the greens will be converted in real time in the game to your palette of choice. And a useful chart showing all these can be found from Eve Does Stuff, also on the SRB2 forums as well, will be linked. Okay, my sprites are now all made. Make sure there's a transparent background and overwrite the original image. Now we're gonna open up the properties TXT file. First, we wanna name the character. I'm personally not 100% why there's a real name and a name section, but I've always put the same name in both spots and it works regardless. GFX prefix just needs to be a four letter unique tag, which allows the game to pick it out from the other files. The stats have two values. The first value affects accelerations and max speed. The second value affects handling and the weight. For example, Emma's stats are set to 2 and 3, which gives her this placement on the stats graph. The first number being the x value, and the second being the y value. But be aware that the positive numbers on the y axis makes it go down and not up. Don't touch start color, and don't touch pref color. I've never gotten that one to work, and if you somehow get it to work, go ahead, save and close. Now there are 11 OGG files, or OGG files as everyone hates to call it, which are just audio files. Most if not all audio editors should be able to edit and make these 
these files. Audacity, for example, works great. This part I won't be showing as it's pretty self-explanatory. Just replace the AUG files with your preferred sounds for the character. Just make sure they all end up with the same file names in the end, and it should work just fine. Now, to the last part! Simply drag the character folder onto the Cartmaker EXE and boom! You now have a WAD file. Simply put that file into your SRP2K directory, and now it's usable! I keep my WADs in a separate folder in the directory, which also works. It's just for organization's sake. Now boot up the game, go to add-ons, activate it, and your character is now a part of the roster. Back to you, hot dog man! Hot dog man! <laughs> oh, um, anyways, uh, now we know how to mod the mod of a mod. And with this new five-head knowledge, I'm gonna create the ultimate, nay, the perfect character in the game. Me. And the greatest character of all time needs the most powerful card possible. A microwaved hot dog. It's perfect. But now that I have the perfect character, I need to prove it. I need to challenge the best racer I know and take the crown for the greatest Sonic uh, robot BBQ race car racer race king of all time. And the best player I know is Stag. What's the bet? Well, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I must be far superior. I buy you a pizza. Okay, winner gets a pizza? Winner gets a pizza. Stagger Knight's been playing for a few years now, so they had to be good. But with my Oscar Mayer missile by my side, I knew there was no way I could lose. Fuck, are you so fast? How are you that far ahead? Good drifts. <laughs> Shut up. It is it's over. over. Fuck. It's over. God damn it. Okay, so I lost the first round, but this was surely a fluke. My Glizzard Mobile. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I hit a bear. Oh. oh, fuck. Sorry, it's, it's all right. It's cool. So, fuck. They gave me a thumbs down when I did the lap. I'm sorry, Chris. God damn it. <laughs> um. Hey, so those were practice rounds. We, we, yeah. we shook on that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Hold on. What? I gotta. I gotta. Fix my name to, uh... <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> okay, so I lost two in a row. Whatever. I was one loss away from everything, as this was clearly a best of five race, and that's 100% what we said right in the beginning, and not a best of three. One race between my chance for the crown and Stagger Knight getting the shittiest order from Domino's ever imagined. We're gonna start off spinach. I'm gonna ask the man to put red onions on it with that little checkbox that tells Kevin to put spinach and onions on it and then i'm gonna ask them to put that beef it just says beef i don't know what that means it just says beef i like it though it's good beef that is until we got to the piss zone the piss zone is a unique track because it looks like piss a home field advantage and i played like a god well uh, no n not really I, I was actually behind pretty much the whole race yeah we both fell off for a sec Oh, this going hard. What? Dude, I landed behind the gate, but Stag started to fuck up. Oh, fuck. Oh, guy. I, I, I landed in the minefield. Ugh. Nope, minefield. So I muckled down, hammered on that son of a bitch, banged a right or two on my wiener stick shift, and took home first place in the piss zone. Two to one. My comeback begins. Then came Rainbow Road from Mario Kart Super Circuit. The way this course works is it's a bunch of turns, some more turns, a bunch of boosts, then some more turns, and there are no guardrails. In fact, the guardrails are actually platforms that make you bounce. My character was designed to work like a literal tactical hot dog ballistic missile. It had max speed and max weight, making sharp turns a bit of a nightmare to pull off. So I didn't have a great start. And as the race went on, I thought for sure I was about to spend about 12 50 on a stinky ass pizza. Almost 13 whole bones. So at that moment, I knew I needed to pull off some baby back bullshit. Uh, oh no, I'm behind! Oh, 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 the strat! Oh, you did it, you did it! I picked up my speed and drove directly across the ledge, something you should probably never do in NASCAR. But it bounced me across half of the track. I took the lead. And with Stagger Knight behind me, I was able to cleanly stay ahead and tie up the game two to two. Match point for dominoes. I was getting better every race, learning more about how my character plays, learning more about how Stagger Knight plays. I was evolving and I could feel my brain growing. And at the start of the race, I knew I had to do- 
All right, so I lost. Whatever. I don't care. I had to buy Stagger Night a pizza. I don't care. Ask me if I care. Oh, do you care? Oh, I don't care. I also had to change my Twitter background. What the fuck is this? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. Don't play SRB2 cart. I hate it. Did you block it? it? Yeah. Block it spike ball. You're a bitch and a dumbass idiot. <laughs> Record. I'm gonna record a couple seconds. Chris, say some garbage. Hello? Ew! Shut the fuck up!